Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I need to do this real quick um, because uh, this woman, as small as she is, it, it, when people walk, she looks like a model, but as small as she is, diminutive as she is, she packs a big punch. I'm telling you, you don't want to mess with Jane Duke Ruby. Jane Ruby is going to be on after us tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. She's going to talk about the Hamas caucus, Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, and there are a lot of issues that we should be concerned about, especially after the Congress today um, decided to censor, well, not censor, but um, condemn the free speech of Donald Trump. I think there are a lot of things you need to worry about in America right now, um, and including the 10 Republicans that didn't vote one way or the other, and the four that voted with AOC, Tlaib, Omar, and Presley. You should be concerned. She's going to talk about tonight, 11 o'clock tonight. Also, this great man will be there at 11 o'clock tonight. Donnie Bolena uh, is with us uh, tonight. He is running in the 6th Congressional District uh, of Congress uh, down in Georgia. Uh, Donnie, i got to ask you here, uh, as beautiful as the state of Georgia is, um, there are those who are uniquely concerned that it may be the first of the southern states to turn blue because of some of the things that's happened uh, in the recent gubernatorial uh, election and things of that nature. Uh, are you concerned that there is a hint of blue uh, to be dropped into uh, the great sea of red in Georgia? You better believe I am. That's why I'm in this race. The truth is being in this race, Ken. If Karen handed her job, I wouldn't have to be here right now. Yeah, we we I voted for her. So many people got behind her, and and we got by John Oz. If you remember, he raised thirty million dollars. Heard of in, in a district race, and and we you know we rallied the district rallied behind her only to her to go at back. Not only did she not perform while she was up there, she just forgot about us all. And this is part of the problem. Career politicians is why Georgia is losing. This is why I'm so big on term limits. Mm -hmm. And and as why well, I voted for term limits, why well, I'm supporting term limits, and my name's on it, and I was proud to get this signed up that list. We cannot continue to have the same old, same old in Washington. This is why America is failing. And, and if we don't busy people in office who still understand the Constitution of the United States of America, who still understand that Colin Kaepernick didn't know what he was talking about when he was <laughs> talking about the Betsy Ross flags. I would like to educate history. I, 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 I was taught history at Liberty University, so they taught me the Bible and they taught me about my country. And one of the things I can tell you is that is the 13 colonies, Mr. Kaepernick. <laughs> That, that, that I want you to understand that those stars, if they take a trip of the little in, in downtown Pennsylvania, I'll gladly give you directions. It's a free tour, sir. And you will walk <laughs> into the room. You will walk into the very room. There will be 13 desks, and there is a Bible on every desk that represents the 13 colonies, and that's how we got the Betsy Ross flag. It's believable. Unbelievable. And I mean it. Yeah. That we are dealing with people that are so busy trying to destroy our country over socialism, over pastors just preached on that. And I was thinking, is that not hitting home right now? It, it, we are in a place right now, if we don't bring a holy revival back to this nation and get some men in office who are afraid of the name of Jesus, we're going to get it's worse. Exactly. Now, Mr. Bellina. There are lots of people that say that, you know, we understand. I apologize. We have just a few okay, technical fair. difficulties. Yeah, apparently. Okay, what was the question again, sir? I'm sorry, it was long and it was an illegal question filled with commentary, but here it is. Uh, uh, um, with all of the things that are going on 
in America, uh, with a revival of our economy and so on, what is it that you define needs to happen for the good people uh, in Georgia? Well, we, we need to keep focusing on what exactly Georgia jobs, jobs, jobs. There you go. If people are going to work, they are feeling confident, and the spending confidence gets happy in our country. That means the health, the financial health of our country gets happy. And so, as long as I keep seeing these cranes going up and these buildings being built, then I'm knowing people are going to occupy the I'm sort of getting paid to be able to build them. This is a direct reflection of President Trump all over America, not just here in Georgia. America is flourishing hot. We are red hot right now. It's a hot economy. It's a hot stock market. The jobs is higher than ever before. Everything is great, Ken, except mm -hmm. for the race card. This, everything is wonderful. That's uh, there's nothing left for the Democrats to go on, and yeah. they're at the bottom of the barrel. And here comes the red. Uh, we're we're winning on those particular things. When it comes to to Georgia, a, a lot of people think of Atlanta, the the big city, Georgia, but uh, very few people re think of what happens outside of Georgia and the small towns, the rural America, uh, where. Uh, there is not a great deal of attention paid to those uh, individuals. Uh, is there something in your platform that speaks to reaching out to those small rural areas? What would you like to see you done better from Washington? That's hometown America. And that yes. is and the beauty of, of, of that. We got so much to show off. You go down to Georgia 400, and if you've ever been in Georgia, you'll know what I'm talking about. It'll shoot you straight into the mountains. And, and once you start going, there's one small town after another that you get out, you walk around, there's beautiful history there, it, it, there's great food to eat, yes. there's live music being played. It, and these these places like Blue Ridge and LJ, my district don't go that far, unfortunately, yeah. so I have to concentrate on my district, but I am definitely supportive of growth. Exactly. Now, in your particular district, there's a lot of concern regarding economic growth uh, done to strengthen uh, the cranes going up all over the place. Uh, one of the biggest complaints, however, is lower taxes. And, and it seems to be a conundrum. The lower the taxes became, the more cranes went up. Um, do well, you Governor, Governor Kemp's already come in and lowered taxes once. As a matter of fact, he's about to do it again. Yeah. And, and and so and he followed Governor Dill. I mean, we who followed Governor Perdue. Three great governors back to back, back to back. And Georgia's taxes. You got to remember the state of Georgia. The majority of uh, uh, besides just Atlanta, you get out of Atlanta, you're going to be into the farm country in a hurry. Yeah. Georgia is known for its peanuts, for its cotton. We 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 are farmers, especially in West Georgia. Um, we, we have family in West Georgia who are farmers. So, so I see it first when we go down there to visit. And these small communities, the, the, one of the biggest things that I want done here is to continue to push lower taxes, especially on our business owners. And, and you know, when you hear somebody say, we're going to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And then they start scratching your head going, well, why are they raising their taxes? How, I don't understand how they think people are going to afford to pay a $15 an hour wage when you when you sweep in the floor at Hardee's. And there's nothing wrong with sweeping the floor at Hardee's, so don't let me go there. I'm just saying, let's not be ridiculous. You know, you're paying, you're paying, you're paying, you're paying some, some kid out of high school the same wage that you're paying a 35 year old man that's in management. There you go. Donnie Bellina is with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He hits on uh, a very poignant point here. Um, and that is that the left has always seemed to try to fix the economy by taxing men and women to death. And a tax, a, one of the most lethal forms of regulation 
uh, is the price control regarding wages. And government saying that if they raise the requirement for business owners like yourself and me and others, uh, that it would do better for those who need jobs. Uh, and anecdotally, I will tell you that if you raise the minimum wage, I can't hire anybody. I have to find more qualified people to work with or outsource that work. So those individuals Ken, in the don't get it. Let me tell you real quick before I lose a thought. I want to, I want to, I want to support you on what you're saying. When you're talking about the minimum wage, paying somebody to come to work for you and doing that, you got to think that you are providing this person a career. And if you got, if, if you're paying paying this person $15 an hour or more, that your company must be making a whole lot of Thank money. And if, and if it's not, you're not going to have a company anymore. And what, what they don't understand is they're not going to be helping with minimum wage. They're going to be putting people out of business. Yes. Yes. But folks, folks are going to fall, fall on the sword and not going to be able to afford to pay that. It was the same thing. It's the same thing. When Obama came out with this world health care that they're all still trying to preach this health care thing, let me explain something to you. In the good old days when me and you were 20, yeah. we had health care with Blue Cross Blue Shield, Aetna, Aflac. We could go to the doctor and give them our health care card, and it was $10, a $10 copay. That's $2,500 nut that everybody's got to meet before their insurance even kicks in right now. I, I I share my life. The love of my life, who I live with, has cancer. She has a disease called Walden's Storm Mabrobolinia. Her medicine is ten thousand dollars a month. Wow. Thank God that we have good insurance. That she has good insurance because if she didn't, we would be sleeping under a bridge somewhere. Exactly. You know, I mean, she's trying to keep her alive. So you, you know, this is. Go ahead. Me, Donnie, Donnie, forgive me, but you hit on a very important point. We talked about the race card. And I'm yeah. going to have you back later on this summer. We're going to talk about a whole lot of other things. Immigration, we're going to talk about all that a little bit later on. But we talked about the race card. And the one thing that they always say, uh, which is never true, is that if you raise wages, black people will do better. And the truth of the matter is those individuals are the ones who are hurt the most because they're not able to get into the skill set areas uh and, and thus if you're going to choose to spend 15 dollars an hour are you going to spend it on somebody who has a bachelor's or someone who has to learn new skills you're going to choose the if i was a black person i would feel like just so what you're saying honest to god if this is truth is from my heart ken if i was a black man i would feel insulted by Thank some you. of the things that the Democratic Party is doing. Come on up and say reparations. You know, it, when, it, you cannot go through life helping build a, a person up if you continue to give to them. They're never going, they're never going to change. They're never, why would I want to go out and go work hard in the hot sun all day long when I know that I got free money coming in my house all day long? Yeah. Look, it's, it, you're, we're, well, all we're doing is we're dumbing our, our children and our families and our kids in America. And there's no pride. When you get a paycheck, there is pride in getting a paycheck. There's Thank something you. fulfilling about that. Mm -hmm. you, you feel a sense of honor when you're taking your family up to dinner and you're looking across the table and you're seeing your wife and kids and you know that I worked hard all week to get to do this. Exactly. I, you know, when, when, I, when I'm sitting in church and I look down and I get to see my children and my mother, my father, my grandparents all in church with me. I'm a family man. I love being with them. I go, I'm so glad that God allowed me to work hard so I could be in church with my kids, so I could sit next to my wife, so I could be with my families. That's the American dream to me. Exactly. The American dream is spelled F-M-A-L-Y. There you go. And in, in Family is one of the things that's at the biggest risk in two areas. And I want to talk with you very quickly about the first and give you an opportunity to comment on the second. First one is abortion, uh, where tonight the president of Planned Parenthood was fired because she wanted Planned Parenthood to spend more time focused on health care than on romancing the stone of appropriations and getting 
over five and five hundred million dollars for the federal government. She was fired tonight. Uh, she wanted them to get away from abortions. She was fired tonight. So I want to get your opinion regarding abortion in just one moment, but also finally immigration. We talk about the whole idea that America is about jobs, jobs, jobs. Democrats says it's about welfare, 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 and that virtually you don't have to do anything to be an American. Although they constantly talk about how 30 million illegal immigrants in this country are working hard, uh, and that's why they should stay. I want to get your opinion regarding what we should, what the president should do tonight regarding illegal aliens in our country, and then I want to get your opinion on what the government should do regarding abortion. Well, part of my platform is on the is on the border and it's on immigration. And I want to tell you something. The president, I support him one hundred percent. He's doing exactly the right thing. He is fighting hell and high water to try to protect us. What? I don't understand where, where, where the blind side with the Democratic Party is, is that, they, that, they, that their hatred for President Trump is, so, is, is a reason to punish the rest of us. Yeah. Those orders exactly. are for a reason. Yeah. When I look at the Democratic Party, I, I think I really don't like one of my neighbors. Tell, but that don't mean I'm going to go out and be mean to everybody else in the street that day that I talk to because I don't have a bunch of love for a neighbor. I, this is the same thing that we're doing with the Democratic Party because of the disdain for President Trump. Well, America is, is being punished. Those borders are there for a reason. I don't care if you're coming from Mexico or Canada or the Middle East or Europe. Before you come on American soil, you should be vetted. America is great because we've always taken the fight to them, Ken. That was, that's what's made us the greatest superpower in the world. That's what they're trying to continue to do. We're trying to keep the fight off of American soil. We've already had them get close to us on 9-11. And that right there, besides Pearl Harbor, those are the two worst incidents. Yep. So on my immigration, build the wall support our ICE agents, give them all the money they need. Let's vet these people. I don't hate Mexicans or nobody else. We're all God's children. But come to America illegally. It's just the way it is. You yeah. can't just, you know, come into our country legally. Yeah. And then on your other question, what was the other Abortion. question? Abortion. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's just murder. It's just murder. Yeah. And, and um, I, I think, I truly think that uh, Como out of New York is as close to the antichrist as you'll ever see. I think that governor, that's a fantasy what a baby's actually doing and dying when it's open and the mother starts having mental anguish and you'll go back in here and murder it. The doctor's going to go kill it. It's simply, it's, it, there's no, I don't care how you want to put lipstick on that pig, it's the pig. So, 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 the, so based on, based on your, you're saying, but you're not saying eliminate abortion in America, although I would pretend that we're moving in that direction, you and I. Um, but the government shouldn't sanction murder. Am I correct in that regard? Okay, first of all, yes, I am saying eliminate abortion. I'm completely against it. And um, I want to make sure that we understand that. It, I 100 do not believe that God created a baby for someone else to kill it. God is our creator. He's not our destroyer. And when he makes something in love, because that's the only way he works, regardless of the situation on how it happened, he still created that baby through love because that's what, what is God. God is love. So you're, at that point, that little baby don't have a lawyer. It don't, it don't have a public defender. It don't have anybody that's going to come stand into the, the doctor's room and defend it. So the only people who could do that is us crazy um, men like mine who don't have a woman's body and we don't know nothing. So we're human beings because we're trying to save a life. Yes. That, that beats all I've ever seen. I'm a grandfather. I sure am glad nobody aborted my grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's very simply said, you know, uh, unfortunately, we are persecuted because of our passions for Christ, uh, while others uh, persecute us uh, in passions of satanic force. Uh, how can uh, men and women who are watching you tonight 
uh, support your campaign, Donnie? Well, they could definitely go to my website. I saw you got to do it. It'll let you know a little bit about me that I'm running on my legislation that I'm running on is I want to approve our highways and byways first. I'm, I'm tired of slamming our car through a pothole. And I think a lot of people, they're very expensive. Uh, second, I want to put, I want to arm my school teachers. I think they should be armed and, and, and put through gun training so they can protect the classroom and protect themselves and the children. I believe that, you know, the, o the only way we're going to win in this game of good and evil is we have to return fire. If we don't, they're going to continue to beat on us. Mm -hmm. Third, it is prescription medicine. I want to do something to bring legislation to help people that are suffering to make sure that we can get this in their hands to get proper medicine. I don't care how expensive it is. There's got to be a way that we can do this so people are not suffering and they're having to go broke trying to buy their medicine. Lastly, I want to put creation in the I, I think that we have been raised up being taught that um, we've evolved from monkeys that we, that we were apes. And the last I checked, I'm not an ape. I don't know anybody that is one that tells us that we've come from a creator. And um, I believe if we're going to teach our kids about evolution, we should at least give them a chance to learn about creation. I'm going to finish with this. Give me 10 seconds. Yeah, great. One of the things I think would be very nice for parents, just imagine instead of your child coming home with condoms that they got in school that day, that they came home with a Bible and they was able to talk some scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the type of wonder can that we need in Washington, D.C. Not another swamp monster. Please don't send any more. We, trust me, we've got enough. Donnie Bellina, ladies and gentlemen, for Congress, Georgia, 6th six, Congressional District. He's a conservative. He's a Christian. He's a business owner. You can find him at BellinaForCongress.com. Listen, I adore you. I appreciate your passion. And we want you to catch on fire across the country. I want, I want to let you know something since we're running over here. And You're not going to make me crack in. No, no, no. I just want to let you know. I, many people who have started their press started here before they went to Congress. Uh, I've had a lot of congressmen who come through these particular uh, interviews. And the amazing thing is that they don't know who's watching. This show is watched a lot by Fox and other networks because we're the ones who set the pace for the country. And I just want to say, I think you would be a great addition. And I would love to see you in debate on the House floor with AOC on any given day. <laughs> I, I, I can hold my own, sir. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Ladies and gentlemen, make certain you all reach out to uh, Donnie Bellina. Uh, for Congress, Georgia 6. Go to his Facebook page uh, and also go to his Twitter page. Uh, we'll make sure that you get all that information. We thank you. Thank God for you. And look forward to you on your on the uh, Jane Ruby show coming up next. You're going to be there too. Ken, Ken, God bless you. Yes, I will be there. And thank you so much, man. You are a gentleman. That was an honor. I've been interviewed by a few people already this year. This is the best interview yet by far. Thank you. It is the best interview. <laughs> God bless you. We'll see you in a little bit. All, All right, right my friend. Take care. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, that is, of course, Donnie Bellina. Don't you just wish you had some real Congress people up? I mean, some real people. <laughs> just, just real human beings. Not the phony ones. Not the AOCs. Not the Talibs. Alone, you got robbed. I know. I got a loan 20 years ago, and I got robbed. That's why I started LendingTree, the only place you can compare up to five real offers site for free. It's like shopping for hotels online, but our average customer can save $20,000. At LendingTree, you know you're getting the best deal, so take the power back and come to LendingTree.